Hey guys, David from TheUnlocker.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to unroot your Pixel or your Pixel XL and get it back completely to stock. Okay, so before we begin, you should have rooted your device using my tutorial, which the link is below. If not, this should still work, but I'm gonna assume that you did mine. This procedure is also gonna run on Windows because that is just what I'm gonna use. You can also use Mac with some of this, um, but it's a lot easier with Windows because there is a .bat file. This will get your device back to stock firmware, so please make sure that you back up everything you wish to keep before beginning. This will also relock the bootloader of your device, and uh, you need to do my setup ADB procedure if you haven't already. Uh, you need to have ADB set up. So if you don't, click the link below to be taken to my quick video on that. Then you can come back to this so we can continue. Okay, so first we need to download the factory stock image for your device. We're gonna do that by downloading it directly from Google actually. So click the link below here. Then on this page, you'll see a bunch of different versions for the Pixel and the Pixel XL. Use the latest version you can. Just make sure it's either the Europe one or all others. So for example, mine is the US Pixel XL. So I'm gonna choose this one and the non-Euro version. So we're gonna save that to our desktop. Once that's downloaded, we are going to extract the files by right-clicking on it and extract all. Then copy all of those files into the C drive ADB folder. Now, if you don't have this folder, it means you didn't do my ADB tutorial, so go back and do that. If you did mine, you'll have this folder. Put it in there and make sure it's in the same folder as Fastboot and ADB. Next, on the phone, we need to make sure that developer options and ADB are set up. So you're gonna to go to menu, settings, about phone, and keep tapping on build number until it says you are a developer. Then go back and tap on developer options and turn on USB debugging. At this point, we can plug the phone into the PC using the provided USB cable. Next, we're gonna open the ADB folder on our PC. Then we're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and right click anywhere blank in there and it'll let us select open command window here. Select that. And then we're gonna type the following into command prompt. ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Your device will reboot into bootloader mode. And then next we can type flash all with a hyphen in between dot bat and hit enter. At this point, it will start doing a bunch of things. So let it just flash all of the different files that it needs. It's gonna take a while. Eventually though, it will say that everything is successful and hit any key to exit. You can do that. And now the device technically is stock, but every time you turn it on, you're gonna get a warning saying that the bootloader is not locked and it wants you to lock the bootloader. So in order to be completely back to stock and be able to get OTAs and everything, we're going to lock the bootloader next. To do that, uh, we're going to reboot the device by pushing start on the bootloader menu if it didn't already reboot itself. Then we're actually just gonna turn it off once it's off, we can hold down volume down and power at the same time and keep holding them until it boots into bootloader mode. Then we can plug it in if we've unplugged it or just leave it plugged in if it was. And now back on the computer, we're gonna open ADB folder on the PC and hold down shift on your keyboard and right click anywhere blank in there, open command window here. Then we're gonna type in the following command, fastboot OEM lock and hit enter. Then on the phone, we're going to hit volume up to select yes and power to actually select it. The device will reboot. And after that, you're all set. There you go. You're completely back to stock, stock recovery, stock firmware, stock everything. Uh, so now you can get OTAs or sell the phone or even go back and reroute, whatever you would like to do. Now, if you like this video though, please thumbs up it or share it, it's greatly appreciate it. And if you want more tutorials or more other tech videos, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.